Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Eric and I'm here with Keith. And we got a simple little product today, but it's not simple. This thing is awesome. It's really cool what you can do with it. So we're gonna go over a couple things on a walkthrough of how it works, um, kind of what to know before you use it. And of course, at the end, we're gonna do a demo. So make sure you stick around. We're gonna show you how this turns into that. So it's gonna be real cool. So what we have, this is called InstaFoam. This is a two-part urethane foam. There's an A and a B. So what it does is as you mix it together, it what generates heat. Yeah, an exothermic reaction, it, chemical reaction. Yep. They'll mix together. Because of that heat, it creates bubbles. And because of the bubbles, then that makes it expand more and more and more. Okay. So this little stuff here is going to turn into a big, hard piece mm -hmm. of foam. Yep. So what's really cool about what it turns into, though, is that it is super, super light. And it and it's super structural. So it's light, it's structural, it can be shaped, it can be cut, it can be sanded, which we're gonna show you all that in a demo, but it can do all kinds of things. So let's just go over a couple things with this first though. So with InstaFoam, it's very important that you do it fast. So as you start to mix this, the pot life is very, very quick. So you have about 10 seconds to mix it, and then within about 30 seconds, it's gonna start to react. And you'll notice it reacting because you'll start seeing it heat up and actually start to bubble and start to rise. So you'll see that in the demo. So it's it's very quick. So we recommend um, if you're just first starting with it, do some samples because it expands very fast and 30 times itself. Yeah. So 30 times itself. So this little bit here is going to expand 30 times. So you really need to do some, uh, do some demos to see how much yep. it's going to expand for you. But um, so we're going to do some demos. Now, it's also very important that you're at room temperature with this. It is, it is temperature. Um, what do you call that kind of temperature? If it's reliant. cold, yeah, reliant, because yeah. if it's colder, it's not going to work right. And if it's way too hot, it's not going to work right. So we they recommend between 70 and 80 degrees trying to temperature, yeah. temperature controlled. Basically, the warmer it is, the more it will expand up to a point. Okay. When it gets too hot, then it just, it doesn't make much of a difference. Right. It kicks off so fast, it's very hard to work with. And if it's too cold, it won't. It, it won't, won't do even, nothing. It won't do yeah. anything. So they recommend between 70 and 80 degrees. So make sure you stay in that. But this is used in so many different things. You can put voids or fill voids with it. You can do, um, what, installations. Yeah. You can do molds. You can do plugs. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do with this. And again, it is super light. Um, that's why it's used in the aircraft in industry so well is because it's so light that it doesn't really affect your weight much. And you can you can shape it and sand it and do whatever you want to it. Yeah, so, I've, I've seen several models where they the leading edge of the entire wing is completely filled with this. Yeah. Uh, and then they just shape it to that airfoil shape. Then yep. the stuff goes over the top you're good to go. Yeah. It gives you a lot more strength for very yeah. little weight. Yes. Yeah, super structural. And I mean, I mean, I mean, this stuff's a rock. So, and, um, so once it's cured, it's, it's pretty solid. So like I said, Keith's going to go ahead and do some demos for you, but there's some things you need to do, uh, prep wise before you start. First of all, you want to wear gloves. Keith's going to yep. wear gloves. You don't want this stuff on your skin at all. Um, you want to make sure you have some kind of um, eye, protection. eye protection. We both have glasses, so we're kind of good with that. Uh, you don't want to get it on your skin. You don't want to inhale it for a long time. So if you're in a place where you're going to be using a lot of it, make sure you have some really good ventilation. Um, don't you know, want it on your clothes either. Yeah, you don't want it on your clothes. It'll harden and ruin your clothes. So, you know, pretty simple stuff, but just be super careful with um And another thing that they recommend is making sure that all your tools are either brand new or clean because any kind of anything that gets in there will mess up the reaction. If you have just a yeah. drop of water or anything in there. Yeah, basically any water or any chemicals. Yeah. You don't want any of that in there. Yeah, it's going to mess up the reaction. So you want to make sure all your tools and everything's clean. So what we're going to do today is uh, Keith's going to do a sample. If you want to go ahead and get your gloves yeah. on, Keith. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a mixture of the A and the B. So there's two parts here. There's A and B. Now here's what's really different about InstaFoam. InstaFoam is not weight. It's not measured by weight. It is measured by volume. So the A and the B are the exact same volume. So what we did is we just took two little Dixie cups and we filled them up exactly the same. So again, InstaFoam is by volume, not weight. So that's a one big thing you need to remember. Um, so 
when Keith starts um, doing the mixing, you guys will see kind of how it's going to start to heat up and bubble. And we'll bring the we'll bring the uh, camera in so you can watch it. And then once he gets it bubbling and starting to heat up, watch how fast he needs to pour it. He's going to have to pour it. So we're going to go ahead and start the demo. And uh, Keith, go ahead, man. Let's yep. see what you can do. Right. Yeah. So let's get her ready here. All right. So as you can see, I have equal parts of the A and the B in here. You see the one is almost a clear color and the other is a very, very dark amber color. Once they mix together, though, they will completely change in color. It'll become a really light tan. So we'll go ahead and pour this one in. And then we'll pour the other one in. All right, that should be good now. Start stirring the crud out of it. And as you can see, it's already almost one solid color. Yep, they say you're going to see one solid color, and then it should start reacting. You want to keep stirring this vigorously until you start to see bubbles forming in it. Those bubbles will let you know that it's the exothermic reaction has started, and it's starting to expand. Yep. So I'll just keep on stirring. Mm -hmm. Is it getting there? Oh, it's good. It going. usually says about 10 seconds. Get yeah. some more heat in there, Keith. Yeah, Come it's on, not man. quite as warm up here as it was last <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, you're oh, right. Oh, I'm starting to see some. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. And again, also, everything you guys see uh, here, um, you can find on Wixaircraft.com. Uh, the sticks, the all the uh, cups, yep. the Insta there foam itself. There it's starting. There you go. Yep. Okay. You can find all this stuff on Wixaircraft.com. I'll put a link down in the description how you can get to the Insta foam. All right. Yep. All right. And yep. There it goes. Just take that. Yep. Oh, I can feel the heat too. Yep. You can see already how it's. Oh, it's expanding. No longer. Yeah. Almost not a liquid anymore. Yep. No, that's cool. All right, Keith. Awesome. So that'll continue to expand. Why don't you kind of show them on yep. the one you already got done, how right. easy it is to shape and move and all that stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at it. Yep. Okay. Put that in the center because it's going to go all over yeah, the place. Yeah, we can show that there. So as you can see, the cup that I used to mix that in, I mixed up about an inch deep worth yep. the other day and let it just sit in overflow. This is what you ended up with. Yeah. As you can see, I cut it in half so you can kind of get an idea. You can see where the original cup was. This is about where I filled it to. So you only had that much liquid in there and it expanded that yeah. big. So, so about 30 times it's itself. about 30 times its yeah. volume. Volume, yep. Which is pretty big. Yep. Uh, oh, look, we got a cupcake going oh, on. Oh, yeah. It's already <laughs> starting to expand. It's not quite warm enough up here. Mm hmm. To get it to expand as fast as it did. So when the I did temperature this one, really does make a it difference. It does make a huge difference. Yep. You want to get it as close to 80 as you can get. Okay. Because the cooler it is, the slower it will. It, right. But yep. I mean, oh, it'll it'll work. It just, oh, it'll work. It'll just time. take a lot longer. And was it take about 24 hours to cure, Keith? I usually let it sit at least 24 hours. 24 hours. hours. I start cutting into it. Okay. So why don't uh, you show them some uh, demo on how easy it is to sand and cut? Now, yeah. as far as cutting this stuff, yeah. we found that just a, an old hacksaw blade, yep. uh, as you see, you can, oh, cut, look at that. you can cut right through it like it's nothing. Yeah. You can hot wire this oh, stuff. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But I don't recommend it because it takes a lot longer than some foams and it gives off pretty nasty fumes. Uh, so I just usually use a hacksaw blade to cut into it. It's, it works just fine, as you can see. And we also have these, which are sanding blocks. Yeah. Now we sell permagrit tools, which there's a bunch of different sanding blocks. You can find those also on wixaircraft.com. But can you show them how easy it is yeah. to sand it? I mean, it's just... So if we just take a corner like that. Oh, yeah. Right through there. Yeah. And you can see I've already got a start of the shape that I'm looking yep. for. So if I were making something, I would draw out exactly the profile that I wanted, and then I would just sand down to that profile. This would be no problem. Oh, sounds good. Permagrit works great because it tends to not hold the material in it okay. as bad as some other sanding blocks do. Uh, 
Perfect. But yeah, I mean, it works really well for that. Yeah, check it out. And then, hey, Tiffany, show them that how it's <laughs> expanding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and as you can see, even the stuff that was still left in there has expanded. Yep. Oh, man, and that is warm. It is a warming up. As a matter of fact, let's see. Oh, we got a little temperature thing. Yeah, let's see if I can. Yeah, as you can see, it's at 103 point, 104 degrees, and it's still going. Yeah. yeah. 104.3. Yeah, so it gets pretty warm. Pretty so warm. once it gets going, you really don't want to hold on to it yeah. anymore. So uh, huh? another one thing that I wanted to point out yeah. is because of the fact that it expands so large yeah. times its volume, you don't want to use this in an area that is completely sealed. Yeah, so like put it in yeah. somewhere and then seal the other end. Yeah. Um, I've taken this, put it in a cup. Turn the cup upside down and put a 10 pound weight on it. It literally threw the weight off of the top okay. just to be able to expand. It will blow things apart if you put it inside okay. and don't give it anywhere to go. Gotcha. All right. Well, I think that's about all. I appreciate you doing yep. the uh, samples and demo for us. Um, again, you can find all this at wixaircraft.com. This is Instafoam. We sell it in many different sizes. We have it in quart sizes, gallon sizes, three gallon sizes. So you can get all kinds. I'll put a link in the description below. But um, yeah, if you guys like how uh, these videos and the demonstrations we've been doing, make sure you uh, like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing a lot more of these. If you have any comments, make sure you comment below. If you have any questions on how this works. But uh, also be looking out for the uh, video. We're going to be doing a uh, discount code. So in the discount code, which will be up here right here by my head right now, if you put that in our coupon code online, you'll get a discount off the Instafoam when you buy it. So again, it should be popping up by my head right now. So use that discount code and you'll get off 10% off. So again, hey, thanks, Keith, yep. for coming up. Tiffany, thanks for doing the video and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Yep.